Hello my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me Mark from Dadex and today we're going to get our Drake on. I was out scanning some sites, I thought I'd found a gas site but it turned out not to be a gas site. Well it is a gas site but it's one with battleships and hacks. So I had a Drake handy, it's a ham missile Drake, I only have Tech 1 hams so I'm going to use cheap old Scourge ammo throughout this run. I'll put the fit down in the description. It's a very simple passive tank fit, two extenders, two hardeners, a micro warp drive. I put a web on there rather than the tackle that I had on before. And in the bottom, we've got three ballistic control twos and a shield power relay to boost our shield regen. The rigs are an EM shield reinforcer and two extenders. And we've got five hornets in the drone hold. So we'll have a quick look on the EVE Uni website as we fly out just to see what we're up against. Yeah, it's a selection of elite frigates, elite cruisers, some battleships. The battleships in the first wave trigger the second wave. And then there are some boxes to hack, and that's where the loot is. Now, it says on here that the uh, bounties are about 10 mil and the loot's about 7 mil, which sounds pretty poor. But I thought, as the site was here, I've never seen one of these sites before. I'd go and run it. The Drake was handy. It's not an optimal fit. I think with the hams, I'd be better off with a damage control because with the hams, I've got to go in close to within 20 kilometers to apply my damage, which means I'm going to take quite a bit of damage. I can't sit out at a long range with my heavy missiles and grind these guys down, which is when the shield regen boost is most useful. With the two hardeners running, we do have about 68,000 EHP on this Drake. He's a very tanky chap. So we should do pretty well against these guys, but I'm thinking we're probably going to need to go and repair. I am obviously in kind of a home system. I've got some ships here. I intend to use a Heron to hack the boxes. You obviously need to be able to hack the loot boxes to get the loot out of them. You could come up here in a battleship, um, maybe even a Praxis. They're bonus for hacking, aren't they? And uh, use that, but uh, you'd have to obviously mitigate your mid-slot fit or pop off or use a mobile depot to refit to hack those boxes. I'm not sure if you could just tank the rats in a big ship and hack the boxes or if you've got to kill the rats before you hit the boxes because I've never run this site before and it doesn't say in the guide. If you do know, let me know in a comment down below, please. Right, so we basically need to get into our ham range, which is 20 kilometers. We can fly the drones out to about 40k. We've got the flight of Tech 2 Hornets, but they're not much DPS. They're obviously completely unbonused in the Drake. But their focus is going to be to get on the frigates as they're already doing now. There is nothing on this site that is going to web me or scram me or point me in any way whatsoever, which is very good. I don't have to worry about that. Obviously, we need to keep an eye on local and a D scan. We are in low sec. What we're really looking out for is combat probes, which we'll be looking for our ship, or perhaps just um, core scanner probes that will find the gas site. However, I think we're a little bit safe because people who are looking for gas will know this isn't a gas site and maybe won't come up here, certainly not on the off chance. And people looking for a combat site or people to hunt, uh, when they pick up a gas site on their scanner, maybe will just think, oh, I'm not interested in that and move on. So um, yeah, we're right up here. We'll look out for probes on the D scan and anyone who might be a little bit aggressive because they might already have this place bookmarked but nobody could just sort of come into local see us on their d scan and walk up to where we are which is good and nothing here to pin us on grid so it's really just a case of grinding our way through so i'm going to speed the footage up to two times speed because it is literally just uh, rinse and repeat one ship after the other i'm going to take out the cruisers then take out the battleships the, ba the last battleship will then spawn the second wave you want to know what the spawns are if i got the second spawn on top of me now obviously that would be a lot of dps to handle at such a close range i'm already down to half shield but we're grinding our way through and that's all we can really do one of the drones is taking a bit of a kicking off them frigates so i'm going to pull in the drones just so uh, the aggro comes back onto me they're not really that important, obviously the drones on a Drake fit, but uh, they're handy. It's good for keeping the frigates busy, especially on sites where they will uh, scram you or web you. You do want to take down the frigates very quickly. The hams do apply quite nicely to small ships. They've got pretty good application and uh, the web obviously helps if the uh, rats are in close and they've got to be in pretty close for us to be hitting them anyway. So it's all good, <laughs> but we are running out of shield. The alarm has gone off. I'm going to ride it out. I always uh, try to kill the rats that I'm on, which is one of the battleships. And we'll get this frigate, we'll get the drones in, and uh, we'll nip off repair. 
and come back out. And there's no shame in it. If you're on a ship that can't handle it, then no, this is the only way of doing it. I remember doing lots and lots of missions back in the day, level three missions, and I had to nip off and repair quite consistently. But that was a long, long time ago now. So we've come back on grid. There's not much left of this wave. So obviously it's not going to be much of a challenge. We'll take them down, second wave, and just uh, do it again, really. I remember to repair my drones. Obviously, if you've overheated anything, you've got the opportunity to uh, repair your overheating. I could overheat my resist modules, which I'm not even running. There you are, I actually remember to switch them on in the end. You could overheat them to stay out on grid a little bit longer. I'm not really pushing my luck here, um, just in case anything does happen in local generally. So, yeah, we'll just ride it out. The other thing that is stretching this fit a little is the micro warp drive in terms of it getting me within ham range of the rats. It is a bit of a strain on the capacitor. I have been running a Navy issue Drake on level 4 missions. There's a few videos, I'll link one at the end, of me doing that. And that's good fun. It clears them. It's actually a lot cheaper than a battleship as well. And I use hams and a, an afterburner on that one. Its agility means it doesn't actually get hit very much. We're not getting hit too much here, but we've just got to get in so close against the crowd of rats. And we're uh, not an Amiga clone that I use for level 4s, obviously. So uh, we're a little bit lacking on the output of DPS. It's quite hard to get an Alpha equipped to use too many medium Tech 2 weapons. Uh, it's a lot of skill points. For me to learn Tech 2 hams or Tech 2 heavy missiles on this sort now would cost me about 650 million in skill injectors. In fact, when I was checking out the skills on this sort, I realised it's only got four skills left to train and it will have maxed out every skill that it can train as an alpha apart from Amar weapons because this alt has never learnt any Amar weapons. Amar weapons and chips in fact obviously. I have learnt Amar frigate to level 4 because uh, I do have an Astero although I don't think this alt has ever flown it. Without a cloak to be honest an Astero hull is so expensive um, it seems more of a liability than a benefit. <laughs> That's why I've not put an alpha clone in one. I mean, I'm lucky I could use an Astero kind of just because I can afford to and don't really need to care if I lost it. But it's not something I would recommend, as I say, <laughs> just because of the potential risk. It also makes me think that this uh, alt here, because it is, if it's maxed out as an alpha, is it really representative as an alpha clone to be doing videos? So uh, this one might not be featuring too much poor old Fintrass in the videos too much more. I don't know. Let me know below in a comment. You know, I always do mention that I'm very trained up and the other modules that you might want to fit or I leave leeway on the fits in case you're a little bit less well trained than me. Obviously, a lot of that training that I've got doesn't apply to any particular fit. It doesn't take much to have your skills pretty much maxed out to be flying a destroyer. Um, once you get up to a battle cruiser, as I say, really because of the weapons. I have also have cross-trained this alt a lot into other skills that you wouldn't normally do, maybe, if you're focusing on your one kind of race and your weapon systems. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's for you to decide. As you can see, I'm almost out of capacitor. I'm just managing to keep everything going. This is the last battleship of the first wave, so it will spawn the second wave. So I'm okay here just to ride this out, take this take this last battleship down then I'm going to pop off get my batteries recharged remember to pull my drones in before I do disappear off grid and um, luck, I'm so glad you get that warning now on the drones because I used to leave them behind quite a lot but anyway yeah this is capacitor rather than tank forcing me to redock this time but uh, what can you do with a micro warp drive in a short range well, one thing I could do, to be honest, is switch over to the Omega alt I've got in the same station and uh, bring out the Billionesque Tengu that would bash this lot pretty quickly, but that's not what we're here for. I do like the challenge, so we're going to start locking these guys up. They do also spawn in one kind of clump. You can't kind of pick off two over here or two over there like you can on some other sites. They are all pretty tight in together, so uh, the battleships also hit us out to about 55k at least maybe a little bit further and they're quite good hits as well so i'm not sure how well we'd be doing uh, certainly with tech one heavy missiles if we were trying to kite this one it would take longer because of the lower dps and i'm not sure we'd take, be taking a, an awful lot less damage also notice these rats are pretty tanky on their armor they've got some good reps going on there's not a lot of rats but they do take a little while to kill individually 
I'm getting the web on the frigates with the drones just to help take them down a bit quicker. But if you do keep an eye up in the corner of the screen up there, they are kicking out some reps, all of them. And as a result, we are slowly running out of shield ourselves. But as I say, there's no real stress here. We've still got local to ourselves, fortunately. Nothing to keep us on grid. So just get aligned out, call in your drones and warp out. I'm trying to take down this cruiser before I leave. But to be honest, once the drones are in, I'm out of here. I could overheat the resistance modules, as I said, and stay out here a little bit longer, but I'd just be delaying the inevitable, I think, in these circumstances. I'm not going to sit out here and finish that wave. There's a lot of hit points left out there, and not much shield for me. So, um, we'll get stuck back in. What is your favourite ship for these kind of sites? Have you ever run this one? Battle cruisers are all pretty good. Um, for an alpha, they're pretty much as good as you can get. Alpha Praxis is uh, doable, as I've shown in a couple of videos, but can be hard work. And you're certainly best sticking to the weapons on your Praxis that you've already trained quite well for battle cruisers. You know, the heavy missiles, so the rapid heavy missile launchers. If you try to get into cruise missiles, etc., you're really going to be stretching your skill queue or spending a lot on injectors. Battle cruisers you can train into pretty well. You can get a Tech 2 tank. If you focused your skill queue, I think, within your free skill queue you could probably get one medium you know weapon system ready so probably for pve heavy missiles would be the sensible one to get to tech two and you can get your drone skills up pretty well too but obviously you're capped and you can't use tech two medium drones which is unfortunate but i understand why and an alpha can do a pretty good job you just might need to pace yourself or be forced to pace yourself as i am here because you haven't got as good a, TBS, a DPS or as good a tank as an Amiga would in the same fit, basically. It's just a fact of life. I do get asked now and again why I don't do more content with the Amigas and the big fast ships. Uh, maybe I will in the new year. Let me know down below. I like to focus for the time that I've got to make videos, which has been a little bit restricted last year because of work and various other issues. Um, I like to, you know, focus on the stuff that's going to help the newer players and people engage with the game more, basically. But uh, if you're more experienced guys or if you're working your way into the higher level ships, would like me to have a look at them, show you some bits and what you can use them for, then we could certainly do some of that. So let me know. So we've gone and repaired again. We are now back. <laughs> I'm sure we can clear this wave now. I'm just keeping an eye on who's passing through local. You always want to know. Keep an eye on that D-scan now we've got some company. As I say, I think we're probably pretty safe up here. Before we move on, this month's giveaway skin is this, the Shack Scopes Indication skin. They're currently selling for about 900 million. So yeah, worth getting your hands on one. Leave a comment down below with your in-game name. Do you use Drakes? What's your favorite battle cruiser in the game? Would you like to see me use more ships, the bigger ships, the Tech 2 ships with the Amiga clones? Would you like me to stick more with the Alpha? Let me know down below. Any other comments, feedback, always welcome. And don't worry, it's not like the jumper your granny gets you for Christmas. I don't need to see you wearing it. Feel free to sell it. There's instructions in the mail that you'll get the code with which will tell you the best and safest way to uh, get the code redeemed in Jitter and sell it right there. And regardless of the value, I think it's a really good looking skin. The reflections on that give it almost a, a pearlescent effect. That's pretty cool. Right, the last two battleships will soon be destroyed. It is a bit of a slog. All in all, I'm out on this site uh, with the Drake for 38 minutes from when I land to when I finish off the last battleship here. Seven minutes of that was going and repairing, and so you might be able to avoid that seven minutes. And then we've still got to come back and hack the boxes, so we'll see how long that takes. So, so far, yeah, nearly 40 minutes invested in this site, but no sign of trouble, no great stress. And if you didn't need to go and rep, you could cut that down to, you know, just over 30 more DPS, even quicker. Let me know how quickly you can... Uh, Clearly sights in your bling pimped out PVE boat. But these particular rats, they're repping till the bitter end. They're not going down lightly. And as I say, do be aware if we're going to try and kite this kind of a sight. That they do hit out to quite a long range, so that could catch you out. But uh, getting in here with the hams and bashing them down like I am is probably the most uh, 
perilous way in terms of incoming damage possibly run one of these sites so it's quite good to see we can do it and never look in trouble it's only when the, the incoming dps is so high it catches you out and you can't warp out in time or something on grid puts a, a point on you so you can't warp away that you're really really at risk of losing your ship and do just be careful as i say not to trigger multiple spawns at once because that is something that can really catch you out especially if that second spawn just lands straight on top of you at range where it can apply all its dps but the last battleship is finally down so we shall reship get into our heron and come back with a data analyzer to hack these boxes and see what we've actually got and see if our 40 minutes has been well invested and here we are in the heron just about to do the first hack i'm pleased to say the hacks here we have three victim stashes and their hacks seem pretty straightforward and then we've got the comms relay we'll see how we get on over there so no great challenge here on the hacks but we are getting some booster blueprint copies some standard drop blueprint copies 50 runs and they're worth good isk they're worth almost 20 million each so let's see did we get one from each box each of the victim stashes this one's got me going around the houses a little bit but i never look like i'm gonna get caught out it's still quite an easy hack at the end of the day i just wasn't focused and uh, onto the third one are we going to get a third blueprint copy over here we'll check those in the contract screen once we've uh, got all the loot collected but let's finish our business on grid and get docked up with the loot shall we remember when you're an alpha if you get a spanner on a hack use it straight away because you've got space to take on that extra health on your analyzer now there we got a reaction formula again we'll have a look when we're docked up and another blueprint copy for the booster itself so we're up to almost i think about 60 million so far just on the uh things that i know the value of off the top of my head and now we're going to head over to the comms array and see what we've got in here is it more loot is it great value let's see what we've got over here we've got to make our way across the site again the environments up here are specific to these sites there's some odd little bits and bobs floating around up here to be seen for those of you who like to see all there is to see in New Eden, right, let's get on with this hack. This one has got a lot more nodes on the grid, so it looks like it's probably a little bit more hard. But no, we can do that. We're going to just make sure we have no issues. And we've got a little library here. We'll check that out when we uh, get back to the station too. I'm guessing that the 7 million estimated loot is probably what was picked up from the wrecks rather than what was picked up from the hacks. So that is something the EVUNI website doesn't let you know about. Maybe I got lucky. I don't know. I've got a sample size of one for this site. So what do I know? Right, let's see what the value is. It's showing a value for the reaction formula of 4.3 million. I've actually had a look on ePraisal since, and that's uh, closer to about 15, 16. And then in contracts, the actual BPCs for the boosters themselves are up around 20 million. So all round, we've probably got about 75 million plus a library, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And the Drake fit was about 77 million. So lucky find site-wise has paid for our Drake in 40 minutes. So yeah, we've done really well, I think, loot-wise. But let's see what we've got here. We've got some rather odd little things in the hold here. We've got some sweet leaves, a free sample, and some flower power. Hmm. And then we've got these books. We've got Pillaging 101. We've also got Me, Myself and Plunder. We've got The Little Pirate That Could. 17 Successful Torture Techniques. And Cartography, The Art of Treasure Map Making. That's a fine selection. We'll uh, definitely have a look at those. <laughs> so some interesting funny loot, as well as some very lucrative loot, which is quite a nice combination, really, isn't it? So that's it for now, my friends. Leave us your comments down below with your in-game name for a chance to win one of those fine and very valuable Le Shack Scopes Indication skins. Leave us a like if you've liked it, found this interesting and informative. It really helps the channel. And lets me know which content you guys like. So that's always handy, isn't it? And subscribe if you want to stay in touch. We've almost up to 8k subs, which is absolutely mad. Take care of yourselves and each other. Remember, even is believing. Fly brave and goodbye.